the world's smallest sprocket nose tip. So there's nothing to be ashamed of if you got a four incher. Hey guys, Dan with Kane Custom Garage. And today we're gonna have a little showdown between these two mini electric chainsaws, this Taranzi chainsaw and uh, this steel GTA 26. So the reason I'm doing this comparison is um, Taranzi contacted me and wanted to know if I'd try out one of their mini chainsaws and do a review on it. So I was like, okay, I'll do that. And so they sent me one. And uh, I thought it would be sort of fun because I got this steel GTA 26 one for Christmas last year. And so I thought, shoot, let's do a little comparison. See what we get for our money because this steel mini chainsaw is like three times the price <laughs> of this one. So. Let's see if it's really worth three times the price. So yeah, do some, some comparison on the features, size, weight, ergonomics, um, that kind of stuff. And yeah, I thought I'd take them out and do some cutting with them, see how they do on that. And then I thought we'd have some fun and maybe try and do some pumpkin carving since it's that time of the year. And then I got a chunk of wood out there Cause this thing looks like it'd be sort of neat for uh, like doing wood carving and stuff, you know, chainsaw carving, doing the detail work. So anyways, let's try them out. Okay, let's take a look at these things, guys. First, we'll look at the Taranzi. And the first thing I like about this one is it has a nice hard shell carrying case. I had it all out of there. <laughs> it took me a while to figure out how to get it all back in there, but I did it. I did it. See, look at that. Just fits right in, whoop, just fits right in there real nice. They give you a funky pair of gloves. And then the owner's manual. I, I forgot to put it in there, but it's in there. Owner's manual, here's the uh, unit itself. And then it comes with two batteries, which is sort of nice. They give you some safety glasses. And then the charger. The charger's a little different on these. It doesn't really have a docking station. You just plug it in to the, uh, you just plug it into the battery. All right, yeah, see that port right there? You just plug it in, and then when the light turns green on this, it's charged. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll make a little video clip and show you. But that's the charger. So yeah, you get two batteries, an extra chain. That's pretty cool. I guess it's quarter inch chain. I was wondering what it is. It says mini quarter inch. So does that mean it's even smaller than quarter inch? I'm not sure. Give you a little screwdriver so you can adjust the ch tension on the chain because it does have a, a chain tensioner. <laughs> I give you this funky little, here, let me open this, see what it is. But I just briefly looked at it. It's like some kind of, some kind of multi-tool. Sort of cool. The heck is it? Just for uh, sizing stuff, I guess. Letter opener, direction recognition, a screwdriver, a <laughs> can opener, bottle opener, letter opener. Hey, that's handy. I'll take whatever I can get for free. Give me all the free stuff. What's this? Oh, register and warranty information. So yeah, that's what's in the box. Pretty cool, two batteries, extra chain. So that's the Taranzi. And then let's take a look at the steel one. Now I opened this last year and I've actually used this, you know, a few times. But I'm pretty sure this is all it came with. I know it just came with one battery. See the steel, the steel batteries are like this. A Little more compact. Just goes in the handle like that. And there's the unit itself. It does come with a little scabbard, which is sort of cute. <laughs> See, the Taranzi didn't come with a scabbard, but big whoop, it has its own case, so. And then they give you this uh, belt holster thing to put on your belt, which is sort of cool, I guess. I've never used it, but. They give you a little thing of oil. Oh, that, that's what I forgot to show you on the Taranzi one. Because these things, both of these, they don't self-oil. You have to oil them a little bit once in a while. They give you this little bottle. 
but there's nothing in this one but just put a little they recommend like bar oil just put some bar oil in this and you can squirt some on there once in a while or i mean motor oil whatever you got them it's not that critical i don't think and then uh yeah here's the steel one like i said it comes with a scabbard holster some oil multi-oil bio oh i'm that means it's biodegradable probably and so here's the charger for the steel it's a little docking unit you can just plug the battery in you only get one battery and then yeah and then you get this uh i still haven't quite <laughs> figured it out yet oh and then the owner's manual of course no extra chain I guess they figure you can sharpen that one, huh? I mean, you can, but... Anyways, they give you this uh, tool pouch thingy. And somehow it, like, folds into, like, a carrying case for this. Like this. I'm not going to try and figure out how it all goes in there, but see? It's just like a little carrying case thingamajiggy. So that's what comes with it. But yeah, like I said, I got this for Christmas last year. But I think they paid like, yeah, I want to say they paid like 165 175 for it. So anyways, that's what you get with both units. So let's look at some of the controls and safety features. And so yeah, the... Uh, the Terranzi one, it actually has a sprocket nose tip in there, if you can believe that. I it apart earlier, I'll show you guys. I mean, there's no bearing in there, but it's a little sprocket on a, on a shaft. So anyways. And then this one has a, it has a safety, like you click it to the left, and it locks the trigger. And then you push it to the right, and then you can run it. And then this one does have a, it has a guard on the top, so you can't, so when you're cutting, it sort of flips up, see? I guess that's so you can't like smack yourself in the face with it or something. And then the same thing on the steel, it has a guard too. And then uh, the steel one's sort of cool, it has this battery charge indicator, so you push the button and it tells you how much charge is in your battery. And the safety on this one, it's sort of a flipper, like you can use your fingers and you can't pull the trigger unless you flip this up or down. So you gotta flip it down and pull the trigger at the same time. Whereas the Taranzi is just an on off safety, like a gun, sorta. So, anyways, that's the difference on that. But I have to say, I have noticed this Taranzi one's quite a bit lighter than the steel one. The steel one's, it's pretty like big and bulky, really, and it's heavy. So, speaking of weight, Let's weigh them next. Okay, let's weigh these things. First, we'll weigh the steel. Let's see if I can balance it on here. Come on. Why do I have a digital scale? I'm not a drug dealer, so settle down. We use it for shipping our eBay stuff. Oh, I got me a coffee too. Yummy. So anyways, the steel chainsaw is like 3.2 pounds, a little over three pounds. And then the Taranzi is 2.6. So quite a bit lighter, like half a pound lighter almost. So that's the difference in that. And yeah, you can, you can feel it too. This Taranzi one's quite a bit lighter. <laughs> I keep having to hit the... Here, let's do the steel one. The steel one has a totally different sound. It's sort of... It, it spools up a little bit slower than the, than the uh, Taranzi one. The Taranzi one, Taranzi one is like, boom, boom, instant, right there. And the steel one just sort of spools up. Which I'm sure it probably has like a, you know, a higher quality motor and all that stuff in it. That's why they sound different, but... You know, I mean, if you were going to... If you were doing this, using this for like commercial work... Yeah, you'd probably want the steel because I'm sure it's probably going to last a little longer. But I mean, as much as you use something like this, 
I'm sure this Taranzi one's going to work just fine, as long as you keep it clean and, and uh, oil the chain once in a while. But anyways, next I'll show you how to uh, take the bar and chain off and tension them and all that. So let's do that next. Okay guys, let's take a look at uh, how you maintenance the bar and chain, you know, swapping out the chain, tensioning it, all that. So the steel has its, has its uh, classic flip up knobby thingy and then you just unscrew it take the side cover off and then see there it is the sprocket and the chain and it doesn't have a tensioner which is interesting so you basically just when you want to when you want to tighten it you just loosen it and then just pull the slack out by hand and so that's how that works. So yeah, you want to take that apart once in a while and blow the sawdust out of it. Now how the frick does this thing go back on there? Oh, like that. So yeah, pretty simple. And you just screw it back on there. Snug it up, check your chain tension, which that looks pretty good. Make sure she's snug and then flip that down so she's good to go. Probably a good idea to keep the battery out of it while you're fooling around with it too. So here's the Taranzi one, similar setup. It's got a knob on the side that you just unscrew. Take the side cover off and then see there's the sprocket set up on this and then yeah see check this out this one actually has a tensioner on it and then see the screws just right in there to tension it so yeah pretty simple to change out the bar and chain on these or the chain at least so that's how that works and so yeah I used this one a little bit and the chain did loosen up so I had to tighten it so just like a regular chainsaw on this one, you just loosen the bar nut and then adjust it in there. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about bar length, guys. So the steel, the little steel, he's he's got a little four-incher here. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that, guys. If you got a four, I mean, if the chainsaw has a four-incher, you can still work with that. You can still uh, You can still do things with that. So there's nothing to be ashamed of if you got a four incher. What do they say about that? It's not about the something, 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 but the motion in the ocean. But anyways, I'm talking about chainsaws here, okay? Four incher on the steel. Now, the Taranzi, he's got the six incher, which is a little more, uh, up to speed I think you know the six inch is sort of nice because uh, it's got a little bit longer tip sticking out here so you can do some plunging <laughs> you can uh, but yeah you know the six inch that's that's more of a workable size there I think and this one it's a little bit more pointy on the tip so it's sort of cool like if you're doing some maybe doing some finish work like if you're a chainsaw carver or something like that and this one looks sort of cool. I thought maybe we'd try and do like a pumpkin carving with it or something. But anyways, you know, you know what they say. Size matters. I don't know. You be the judge. So here's the Taranzi charger, guys. It just plugs into the outlet and it's red when it's charging and then it turns green when it's charged. And then it just plugs into your battery just like that. So pretty simple setup. And then here's the steel charging setup. See, it has a green light, which I think that means it's charging. And then I think maybe the light goes off when it's charged, I can't remember. I'd have to read the directions, but that's the steel setup. Oh yeah, and I was gonna show you that sprocket nose tip, guys. Look, there it is. The world's smallest sprocket nose tip. Look at that little guy, isn't that cute? 
The Taranzi's got it. The steel doesn't. Okay, let's see how these things cut, guys. I'm gonna try out their fancy gloves that they gave me. Ooh, look at those. <laughs> those are nice. Look at that. I can give them the white glove test. So first, let's give them a little oil. Always put a little oil on before you start. Whoa. And then we'll put some on the Taranzi one. I'll use this little one they gave us. I put some oil in it. I just use motor oil because it's a little lighter. Because this thing has like the tiniest tip. Oh, that's sort of nice. You can meter it out slowly. Okay, everybody's oiled up and lubed. Let's try the steel one first. Let's start with this small skinny guy. Oh yeah, it blasts through this stuff. Ramsey. Steel. Let's try a little bit bigger stuff. Is a little smoother as far as cutting. Taranzi. So the smaller stuff it wants to bounce a little bit, but you just gotta hold it steady. See? But it cuts fast. Let's try bigger. Here's a pretty good sized piece of river birch. Let's try something even bigger. This one's probably like three inches. Let's try this. Oh yeah, it powers through it if I can hold this log still. So yeah, it's all about just stabilizing the log. Now we'll do the steel. Steel one almost bogs down in that. Hmm, interesting. Let's try it again. Hmm, interesting. If I push it too hard, it bogs it. Now back to the Taranzi. Transy doesn't bog at all. Hmm. Like I said, the chain's a little more aggressive and sharper, so it's a little more, a little more bouncy. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's do something even bigger. What do we got here? Let's try this guy just for the hell of it. That one's even bigger. It's probably like. Almost four inches. It'll do it if you if you don't push too hard. Now let's try the steel.
Yeah, the steel will do it too. It wants to bog a little bit, see, watch. And these are both fully charged batteries. Taranzi again. Look at that sucker. Nice. Wow, impressive. Taranzi, I think it has maybe a little bit more power than the steel one, I don't know. And as far as the batteries, like how, la how long they last, I mean, I'm not gonna really sit there and try to figure that out, but I mean, the Transi comes with two batteries and I was using this for quite a while yesterday, trimming the bottom of a tree. I'll show you some footage of that. I mean, okay, let's try this thing out underneath this tree. This thing's a mess under here. I didn't change the battery and I was using it for like 15, 20 minutes. So yeah, I'm sure the steel battery probably lasts a little longer. Maybe that's why they give you one, but I mean, they give you two for the Taranzi, so that's cool. Okay, now let's screw around a little bit here, guys. I was sort of fooling with this log here. I was trying to make a little Bob Ross tree. Just screwing around. Isn't that pretty? You'd probably wipe out the sprocket nose on this if you did that too much, because I'm sure it'll just burn it up in there. There's no bearing. But I was just fooling around. Let's see what the steel one does if you were to do like carving with it. Eh, about the same. You'll probably eat up the end of that bar doing that too. But it'd be sort of nice like if you were a chainsaw carver. You do all your bulk with your gas saw and then maybe some fine detail work with the electric saw. But now, let's do some real fun here. Since it's Halloween, I was at the store today and I saw some pumpkins, so let's see, let's see what we can make. Nice little plunge cut there. There's the eyes. Oops. Oh, you can get some detail work in there. That's the nose. <laughs> Let's do the mouth. Oh, he's a happy little guy. Look at that. Isn't that just precious? That's the way to do it right there, guys. Let's cut the top out. See, I knew this was going to be Look at that. Nice. That's the way to carve a pumpkin. Look at that. Pumpkin carving made easy. The steel one, you could do the same thing, but the tip doesn't stick out very far. You'd have to flip, you'd have to flip it up to do it with the steel. But you still can. 
There we go. The two-faced pumpkin. <laughs> okay guys, so there's your comparison between the uh, steel GTA 26 chainsaw and the Taranzi mini chainsaw. <laughs> there he goes again. So anyways, my conclusion guys is um, if you're not going to be using this professionally and using one of these every day, you probably don't want to spend $150 on something like this. I mean, unless you got the bucks. But, I mean, I'm cheap. So, I mean, if I needed one of these, I'd probably do the $50 Taranzi. At least I think it's $50. And speaking of that, by the time this video is done, hopefully I'll have a link that I can put in the description below here that you can click on and, and buy one of these through the link and then I'll make a little bit of commission off of it. But if it's not there, then just go to Amazon and buy it. But if the, look for the link first and click on the link and buy it through there, that'll help me out. I'll make a, I'll make a few bucks. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my first comparison type video, review type video. Hopefully I'll do a few more of these. I'll sort of sprinkle them in with the uh, regular videos. So yeah, all kinds of fun stuff coming down the horn. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.